uh, commiserations. It was obviously a very a tight game and a difficult game. Um, can you explain why you started with Raheem, not with Fernandinho? We, we, we kind of expect for his side. Do you feel it, it worked and was it close to working? I did the best in the selection. I was last season against Olympique de Lyon, uh, like it was against PSG, against Zormund. And I tried the selection the best to win the game. The players know it. And uh, and I think Gundogan played good, uh, were exceptional. And uh, we missed a little bit to break the lines in the first half. The second half was much better. And um, and there was a tight game, like you said. It was a, We had enormous, almost chances, not the real clears, but uh, for the defensive structure for uh, for Chelsea is not easy, but they didn't have neither. So they had the goal, uh, Berner in the first half, and uh, and Pulisic the second didn't have more. We struggled a little bit for the long balls they used, the second ball, and after they run. And uh, yeah, in that moment, you need the, the inspiration, the quality. It was a three or four moments, the crosses to the byline to score a goal. We didn't get, we didn't arrive. But uh, yeah, I would like to say it was an exceptional, exceptional season for us. Uh, it's a dream uh, being here. Unfortunately, we could not win. It's the first time for m- most of us in this club. And we tried, we could not do it, and work to come back one day. OK, guys, I'm presuming we've got more than one question for this press conference, but there's no one with their hands raised. So if they don't, ra- if you don't raise your hand, then the press conference will be finishing soon. OK, we'll start with Stuart Brennan. Stuart? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, obviously, as you say, you've set a high standard this season, but you're always looking to improve. Um, how do you go about doing that for next season so that this doesn't happen again? And how much will the transfer market figure in that? Uh, Stuart, now is, I'm not clever enough to think about next season. It was a, uh, was a season with 62 games. We played 61. So it was really tough for all of us and, and difficult, you know, pandemic world and everything. So if you, if today we analyze a game, of course, we are we are sad. Congratulate Chelsea. We have to learn from this. We will learn from the future. But the, se- the, the season was exceptional. This is my incredible respect for the players. They did everything. They gave everything on the pitch. And unfortunately, we could not, uh, yeah, we could not win. But we will come back in the in the future stronger. Thank you, Stuart. And Neil Custis. What disappointment is this for the club? Because, you know, you, you were sort of expected to win tonight. Well, you were favourites anyway. You've had one shot on target. It's a major letdown, isn't it? We had almost almost uh, more than shoots on target. Rudio was brilliant in the last second, the, the defenders. Uh, Riyad at the end, uh, yeah, we knew it. So, again, Chelsea, we could not create more. So... Um, it was a tight game and it was, I think we we play, being the first time in Champions League, we play a real good, good final. We show courage and everyone, especially in the second half. The first half we, you know, it's not easy to play this competition for all of us. It's the first time, uh, you know, the commitment that they had. and uh, But they did everything, they put everything and just want to congratulate them for the exceptional season, even for the game they play today. Thank you, Neil. Next, we'll go to Nick Puruwal. Uh, I just wonder if um, you could give us an injury update on Kevin De Bruyne. Obviously, he looked uh, very upset, understandably, about. But was he also in quite a lot of pain, and does he have a cheap? See, I, I don't know how the pain he in his face. We'll see what happened. I didn't see him now. I didn't speak with the doctor because I came back immediately to talk with all of you. So, but hopefully, hopefully, it will not be a big problem. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Nick. Dom Farrell. Hi, Pat. Um, just about the selection again. In 59 of your 60 games this season, both of your firm and Dino started. What was the thought behind having both of them on the bench and having them playing next to uh, I want to put. Uh... I did. I decided that decision. Have a quality players. Gundogan play many years in this position to have a speed uh, the ball to find the, the the small players, the quality, the brilliant players be, be inside the, in the middle between the lines. And this was the decision. Thank you, Dom. Uh, Tom Roddy. Hi. Um, 
can you hear me? Yes. Just simply, do you have any regrets about tonight? But I don't know. So, but I, I, the decisions I made, the players would have done. They did everything. Always, the decision is to you know to try to win the game, and uh, the, I think the game was exceptional. Being being the first time we are here, so I know the opponent. I know the games against Oporto, Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid. The way we played today, the way we. We put him down in the second half. And they made one counter-attack, one action, the counter-attack with, uh, with, uh, with Pulisic, with Havertz. So long balls to Havertz is so strong. And second balls, they win and run. They are so, it's a really good team, but we compete perfectly against them. So it was a tight game. And the second half, we deserve to score one goal. We could not do it. And congratulations, Chelsea. Uh, James Robson. <coughs> Hi, Pat. Hi. Uh, what will you do personally now after this? In terms of uh, how will you? What will be your release after such a, uh, a, a big season and such a disappointing result? Now, will you be able to put this behind you, or will you be literally playing over your mind? Yeah, what I said before with Stuart, it was a season with 62 games. We we play 61. Uh, we arrived in the final of the Champions League. Uh, for us, it was was really good, and uh, we won the Premier League again. And we compete incredible well all the season. And now I wanna go home with my family. It was a long time I didn't see them, and uh, take a break one, two weeks. And after, we will start with the club, which is the best for the club for the next years. And that is gonna is going to try to do. <laughs> 